I'm John Fox and I'm John Lust. I'm having a Dan Gan Romper 2. Goodbye, Despair Adventure. I'm just moving the microphone a little bit closer, so there might have been a little clunk there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, before I continue my conversation with uh, the lovely, lovely Nagato Komaeda, I'm going to go into the menu because uh, I want to chat with you, dear viewer. You. Well, so I've mentioned this before, before but um, occasionally between videos. I'll actually watch someone else play this game. Now, they'll be behind me, right? I don't want to have anything spoiled. Uh, so, I try not to ever have them be more than closer than five hours. So, for instance, the person I was watching, uh, Mahiro hasn't died yet. Uh, and the, the reason I do that, in case you're curious, is because sometimes I, you know, I'm at work. And I like to have something in the corner of my screen while I'm doing actual work work. And it can't be something I, I can watch, because then I'm not doing work, so something in the background. And the, the thing is, like, I, I don't have any viewers, so I don't really get to experience the sort of collectiveness of, like, people experiencing the game all at once, and sort of, you get little bits of insight. The other thing is, obviously, I get to review the uh, earlier footage, which I said I was going to do. Unfortunately, that person wh whom I watch uh, hasn't got to the video game yet, the Twilight Deluxe, I can't remember what it's called, which I would have liked to have watched again as well, uh, but I did see something I did find very interesting, a couple of things actually, uh, which I was going to bring up, one, well, uh, I found out what these presents do, in fact, they did them in the first game as well, so in the first game, there's a, 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 a um, a steam bath scene where you sneak the main character sneaks in and watches all the girls in the steam bath and they're wearing towels and stuff and that's a secret scene and I had no idea but apparently I had an item called a man's fantasy which I would have got randomly and if you're holding that item that's the only way to get that scene and so this game presumably has lots of scenes but I I, I hadn't seen one but it's basically there's a, he, he got to see a scene that I didn't realize existed where it's, um, Mahiru and, hang on, I don't know her name. Uh, Hiyoko in the shower. Right when she's complaining about being, everyone's complaining that she's smelly. There's actually a hidden scene. And I think you have to be holding an item called a man's nut. Uh, so, apparently, all those 50 coin items, I think, bear in mind, I can't look this up because it will spoil things for me. Because things in nearby are going to spoil things for me. I have to be very wary about this sort of knowledge. Uh, so basically, there's a, a, a bunch of hidden scenes. Like, I think in the first game, the other... I looked up the first game because I finished the first game. And there's no spoilers for that. So there's a scene... If you played from the start and you you get an item, you can exit the facility immediately as a secret scene as well. So I'm assuming there's a whole bunch of scenes like that. And I think I've missed a couple of them. Uh, so I'll, I might try and find some of those items... Uh, the other thing I noticed, more importantly, is, you know how I keep going on about how I think the murderer was Sonya? Now, the big worry with that is that um, she's, she wasn't in the computer game, but I think that's all a red herring, because um, of various reasons. The one uh, is that mask, right? She sees the mask, uh, I named an episode after it, in fact, I can actually check. Uh, if I can find my cursor. Where's my cursor? I can check what that episode's called, because it's still on my computer. Sunwitch Esper Ito. Now, I got to check the footage, and she talks about Sparkling Justice, and that Sparkling Justice uh, is a serial killer that kills um, villains, and wears a mask, and wears a mask of anime characters. So... Somebody pretending to be a serial killer is an idea from the first game, and it would be weird for the game to completely repeat that. I don't think she's a serial killer, and I now don't think she even did a murder. I'm, I've, I've got a new idea, which was when she explains that to the main character, there's somebody else in the room. This entire conversation between Sonya, like Sonya's the only person who knows about Sparkling Justice, and me, and, I hate to say it, 
Where is she? Where is she? She's got black hair. I know she doesn't. Pekka Pekayama. Pekka Pekayama was in that scene. She overheard the entire conversation. Now, if that's true, if Pekka Pekayama is the killer, we have three red herrings for this. We have him as a definite suspect. We have her as a definite suspect. And we have... One of, um, well, those two, I guess. Oh, and we have the princess as a def. That would be three red herrings, and then the murderer would be someone that's barely been involved in this case. Now, as I always say, I reserve the right to, to keep changing my mind right up until the lift. And the lift is when I choose when the murderer is, and even if I change my mind during the case, I don't get to say I predicted it. Unless I predicted it on the lift on the way to the murder. That's when my final decision is. So, but, my latest idea is it might be Pekka Pekayama. Anyway, let's see what Nagito Komaida is talking about. Hajime and Chiaki, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? Now, now. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? Bow to me. I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Huh? Just kidding. <laughs> I was just joking. It didn't sound like a joke to me. Actually... It, well, it's about those footprints. Are they for your hikus? Uh, the killer left the footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did, did you find out whose footprints they are? <laughs> If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course. You'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. And I'm terrible at throwing people. Just awful. But if I can get a clue... What are you going to do, Chiaki? Hmm. I'm going to talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So... I'll leave this to you. Yep. That's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him... It'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Yep. I guess this is where, this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. What? Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait for there. Oh, I had another idea. I got the Speckles Goddess. There's no reason to investigate it. Because I did get to see the World Ender scene, which is closer than five hours to where I am, to be honest. Um, I had an idea about who the um, traitor is. It's a silly idea, but it is an idea. Right. He has a recurring motif, uh, and that is the colour pink and a V, right? So his hair is in a V shape, his eyebrows are in a V shape, his teeth are Vs, and there is that symbol on his chest there, of his breast. Uh, and if you look at it sideways, it kind of looks like, bear in mind my head is tilted the other way. It kind of like looks like, well, it's a lightning bolt, isn't it? Um, but it could be a W E for World Ender, and that V in his hair, well, in the V in the teeth, are well, not in the hair, but W's is what I'm getting at. They're W's. Now, this is a silly, silly, silly idea, but I am entertaining it because I don't know, like. They put so much effort into their logos. I also like... I didn't know... I don't know, I do know. I only know because of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure that those coats he is wearing and he is wearing are like school uniforms. Oh yeah, his logo. I know that's Kanji on his collar there. But it, obviously they picked that Kanji because it sort of looks like a dude having a crap. That's a joke logo. That... I'm not misinterpreting that. That is done on purpose, right? Am I misinterpreting that? I'm pretty sure that... 
He's got a little uh, paper aeroplane type thing. I can't see the detail. See, they've all got logos that I find really interesting. Like, what is that? They're just design elements, I guess. I don't yeah. think too much about it. I'm gonna go try and go to Fuyuhiko's house. Um. Walk in the walk, baby. Fiu Hiko should be inside. He's not coming out, huh? Right, cool. I'm not allowed to do that. So, what I should do is I should try and look up which items I can't get anymore as well for the vending machines. I think... We'll see if it lets me first. I think there's one per chapter. Or maybe more than that. One thing is I shouldn't be buying mineral water because I'll just give away all my doubles, right? I should have loads of doubles. So, I've already got two Battle of Tarot's. There you go. I think... A man, man's nut. I think Replica Sword and an Ananan have passed. So if I buy Toy Camera and Festival Tree... It's really expensive, though. Can I sell things? So what I was thinking of doing is spending all my money but 50 and buying one of those and hoping it's the right one. Which means I went the wrong way, but... I saw some... I also saw him use a faster run. I don't know how he's done that. You know what I was going to do, and I completely forgot. I was going to do that entire introduction while doing this. I, I'm sorry, I completely forgot I was going to do that. Planned it out and everything. So yeah, now I've got nothing to talk about. What an idiot, John. I'm almost tempted to, to stop the video and go for the entire explanation again. I'm not going to. I'm almost tempted. We're back up at 50%. Now bear in mind, I will get 100 from... No, I can spend them all then. I'll spend them all. Because I'll get a hundred from the case. And then I can buy the shop outside of the game as well. I can also do this outside the game. Now, I still might miss the scenes if there's scenes. Because I don't know. I think you have to go up to people and say things. I'm not 100% sure about that. And if it wasn't this quick, I wouldn't do this right now. One fifty-five percent. Can we get to sixty? I'm certainly gonna try. There you go. That was one of those magazines. It's too late, John. Well, that might be the case, but I still like that I got it. I just wish I knew about them beforehand. I think I saw that already. I think I saw that already. 
Ooh, nice is happening. Jeff ain't seen this one already. But we're above 60, can we get to 70%? Again, we shall certainly try. This is a game about murder. Is that a washing machine? Some of the fun of this is trying to figure out what these items are. Hey, there's that t-shirt I gave away. Like, what's that? Is Definitely had those. Definitely had that as well. I meant, ooh, a maid's outfit. Hey, big vendor. Vend a little time with me. Looks like a kung fu book. Definitely have one of those already. Take harder, monkey! 75% would be good, right? Wish I could sell the expensive items. I think they're key items as well, so you can't give them away. That ten doesn't say ten, John. I have one of those already. Just watching. No, oh, that one magazine that says "dude" on the top. Ooh, that's new. Seventy percent. Come on, seventy-five. No teapot. No. Ah, crowbar. That one in. Like, yeah, so I shouldn't have been ever buying water. Because so many doubles, it's so easy to give the doubles away. I like that they're in little Kinder Eggs. There's my Red Bull. There's that jewel again. There's that thing again. Masculine juice. Is that a rocket? Broken rocket? Uh, I'm not getting to 75, but let's see how far we get. We're almost near the end now. Lovely cup of tea, which I do have nearby. I'll try not to it. Bandages, bandages, bandages. And cherries. Don't know any songs about cherry. Cherry cola? But not cherries. Don't know what that is. Somebody's belly button. A s replica sword. One of the items, but it's too late for me to get it. I think. Don't know what that is. Some carrots! Kakarot. I'm going for the Japanese way. Lucky! No, oh, you have to be tremendously lucky to get those. Oh, I think I might get the BS75. Fan of that. So many staplers. My pet's gonna get so many staplers off me. Slinky, or whatever the hell this game calls that. I think it's a snake that broken rocket again. 19 attempts to. One in four should do it. One in four should still be good. Statistically speaking. Hey, there we go. Like, I had one, but I used it. Then immediately another new one. Ooh, is that bondage? That's how I greet people at work. Don't even know what that is. Can we get to 80%? Chance to be a fine thing. 
I wish I was this diligent last time. Five more to go. More bandages. More skis. Not getting 80% are we? That's fine. It's now one in pretty much one in five. Last one. Some carrots. I should probably get going. Oh no, it thinks it's the wrong buttons. Um, what am I looking at? Presents. Oh. Oh, what? They're above this. No? Yeah, yeah, there we are. <gasps> Used carrot is a thing. Is it? Oh, maybe they're not in the correct order. Uh, I'm not sure anymore now. Um. Hmm. Alright, you know what? We've wasted enough time. Let's get out of here. People would have probably skipped ahead though. Gotta remember, it's always left. I mean, later on it'll be right, but I mean, when we introduce the new stuff, the game will naturally think I want to go left. Like so. Oh, yeah, one of the things I did notice is the Fuyuhiko mentions his sister the first time you visit the diner. So you have appeared. I was right. You were also creepily late out at night. Huh? What happened, sinner? I already assumed you would come here. Fine. There is nothing you can hide from me. The Supreme Overlord who wields the four dark davers of destruction. Thus I know everything. For instance, I happen to know your fiend. I can see it! We're preoccupied with your infantile beach play. Oh yes, we were. Nature. It the matters not. Will of the world. For what I love is silence and solitude. Mate, we can be friends if you want. That's right. That's it. That's precisely it. There's no button to give like him and, and um, Mikan a hug. Just a big hug button. I see. In real life, I wouldn't hug you either, but... See, yeah, so he wanted to be invited too. Okay. It's... Big hug. Don't try and hug me though, I hate that. Unless I know you very well, and even then, I'm not really sure... Now then. But having an, an avatar do a hug for me, that'd be great. <laughs> Just You hug on behalf of me, my hug proxy. There's a reason why I'm John Proxy. It's not just something I thought sounded cool. Um, let's try going inside. My. Nagato. You're gonna tell me about sparkling justice, all right? Whoa, why the hell are you here? Hello there. Kazuchi. Uh, thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? Ah, this bastard. Um. Good news. You two arrived at a good time, she says. I've discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Bear in mind, I was right before. Because... 
there's another red herring, which is the serial killer, right? That she's going to say exists. Um. Not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Megan. <laughs> yep, this is great. Looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. I'm worried for Mikan as well. Mikan, you had something to say too, right? Um, well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. I'm trying not to squeak so so high for her. So, please don't get your hopes up. Don't be disappointed. I get it. Just get on with it. Um, I tried my best to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out... My hero was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from... She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon was clearly the metal bat. Okay. <laughs> but every dark cloud is a silver lining, as they say. Um, it looks like Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. This is interesting. Her death was instant. That sounds a little strange. I think I better remember that. Mikan's autopsy reporter has added the truth bullet section to handbook. Um. And there's another thing I found. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Were you busy just now? Just tell me. Um, um. during the autopsy... I discovered this in Mahiru's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30pm. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. And it would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hyoko Sayonji. This letter. <laughs> if this letter is real, it would mean Hyoko met up with Mihiro, right? Plus, Mihiro's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m. They met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what that implies, then. <laughs> I'm starting to get confused. If it's true, she does have a symbol. She's, it's on her arm. What does it mean? What happened between the hero and Hiyoko? False lead. False lead. I can tell a false lead. I can smell a false lead. Letter on Mahiro has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Now there is you. You, I find it interesting. It appears we're nearly out of investigation time. Now that you mention it, you could kill someone with a baseball bat. Mikan just finished performing the autopsy. She might have found an important clue, don't you think? Also, it seems Sonya has some information too. I apologize. I'm not being that helpful. Oh my! Miss Sonya, she looks strangely excited. <laughs> awesome! That's like a powerful Gap Moe. Oh, I, I looked up what Gap Moe meant, and it means. Um, so you have like a character, right? So let's say a character is naturally timid. Mikan is naturally timid. So if she was to suddenly be quite overt and uh, confident, just for a little bit, just like that would be completely out of character and therefore cute in a Gap Moe type way. I think that's what Gap Moe thinks. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing Moe right. Hmm. Man, I don't really get it. Nice one, Princess. That Miss Sonya is something else. This guy's just so laid back. I should leave him alone. Ah. Alright, tell me about Sparkling Justice. Big news! Listen, I have big news! Huge, huge news! What's the big news? Remember the Sun Witch Esper Ito mask that was next to Mihiru's body? Well, that one right there. Oh, oh, the mask. Uh, the killer used to hide their face. Also, I just realised my voice for her is um. 
Uh, there's a game called... Oh, it's a walking simulator. Stan, Stanley's Parable. And one of the uh, videos on Steam uh, is about a fake, a made-up name. It's a guy sarcastically reading a review of the first Stanley Parable. And then saying, oh, we've come up with a new game that has all the possibilities. And he, um... And he's taking the miss, but at one mick, but at one point he says, shopping, 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 shoot, or is it shoo, shoo, shoo. Anyway, it's his version of a girl's voice, and it's her voice has become that. Listen. No, that's not correct. The mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Well, sparkling justice. Of course it was. Of course it. Of course, I like I saw that coming a mile off. Huh? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times, but supposedly they're a serial killer who only killed murders of other criminals. That is an order! Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. Hey. Look at you. Look at you paying attention to Sparkling Justice! Am I right? I thought I was right about the princess, but am I right? This Sparkling Justice character, that's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... Wow. It is a heroine mask, to be precise. Son of which Esper Ito is a pretty witch girl. See? A heroine! Anyway... So you're saying it's possible? That this serial killer is the one who killed Mahiru. Hmm. Which means there's a serial killer hiding among us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. Yeah. The game's calling out that. Oh, you've seen this, haven't you? Hmm. We're not. Is it gonna be the same? This is stupid. Serial killer, my ass. The killer just used it to cover their face. That's weird. But even so, they chose something that stands out. It might be true, but. However. Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell? Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling Justice! What the heck was that? Well? This is Sparkling Justice catch... Justice's catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. Do you have a minute? I read it in the magazine in the library. There's only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However... In the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice 2. <sighs> no, good can, no good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um... This is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the masks. Thanks to the masks, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch? To say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? Listen! No, it does not mean they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahiru. Wow. Well, that's probably not possible. I... But that is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. That one of us is capable of committing such horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia, I do understand Sonia's feelings, but... It is highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Such a gaudy mask. Is this really proof of a serial killer? No, that's stupid. The killer just used it to hide their face. Right, so we know Hiyoko Hiyoko is hiding in the closet. We're gonna, I'm, I, I can't see.
That's weird. This closet. Is it really okay to think that it's just been m carelessly managed? I don't know why, but I sort of feel like it's a little suspicious. Now that now that you mention it, I sort of feel the same too. Flotations, devices, snorkels, nets. This is okay. The surfboard that's on the second shelf—it's just an empty surfboard case. Looks like it was put away carelessly. Hmm. Can we really assume it's just careless management? What do you mean? Well, I don't know why, but I sort of feel like it's a little suspicious. Suspicious, huh? Now that you mention it, I sort of feel the same too. But not enough to make it a piece of evidence. There's no time to walk around. Hey, tell me. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the footprints. I already know they're bloody mateys. They're obviously gonna be his footprints. Tell me what you know already. Didn't you find that whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? I... After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. But well, it's probably better to say I snuck in <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard, he did something shady again. Now then. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nagato squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all of this. I'd love that. It's, it's got my ones as well. Those footprints! I see. Oh, it's in his handwriting as well. Uh, so you, the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everyone's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiku wouldn't leave its cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Whose foot footprints were they? The Yoko's. Yep. The Yoko's Ionji's. Because... You know, if we couldn't check his shoes, it's not his shoes. Yoko's? Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? She stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps? So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. Retreating out like a small animal! Good for you! <laughs> oh crap. Tea, John. Tea, tea. But it was totally worth it. The footprint that I collected there was smaller than anyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake, these are her Yoko's footprints. Footprints on the beach has been updated into your handbook. Check the two bullet section to review it. Um. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, Baka, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting. See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. That's mm. the gummy candies that come in four different flavours. Strawberry, melon, grape, orange. Don't need this kind of detail. Looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently they really like she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other but gummy brands, but she only bought home a bunch of these. <laughs> people are like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand. Even if it's just potato chips, or crisps, as civilized people call them. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should just tell you just in case. Just in case, coming from this guy, this means it's probably greatly relates to the incident. Gummy bag has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. And there we Go. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end! Oh, I missed out on unparalleled hedonism. Oh yeah, I guess we were. Uh, bikini beaching stuff. Come! Now is the time to fight the decisive battle! The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits! 
the class trial is finally raising its curtain! So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. It's not a secret anymore, mate. Literally, everyone who matters knows that it's there. <laughs> I'll see you soon! See you soon! Now then. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting! The class trial while I hope where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. Alright! Now then, let's go prove it. <laughs> What's he so excited about? There's no reason to res respond like a guy like to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. What I like about not Makoto is he's the player, isn't he? He's excited. He's playing it. He's playing it like I'm playing it. <laughs> So it sort of makes sense if he played the first game like I played it, he'd come across as really insane to everyone else, sort of thing. Because he's treating it like a game. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let's go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiru's body. No, on the left. On the left. Oh, no, not on the left. When they make us review the evidence. There. Well, I said on the left now. I made a really big point of saying on the left. It's kind of annoying, though, because there's clearly a section for reviewing evidence. But... Go help me! Ah, he's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Why you? Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little lolita! Stop it! Stop harassing little girls. This is what's going on. Sheesh! Yoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. But Hyoko's still trying to run away, so Monokuma's trying to wrap her up in a full Nelson. If you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you a part of this island's food chain. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jeez, making me waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyahiko? That guy, he totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Ah. <laughs> ah! His anger changed his form! I'm right here. For you, Hiko, you came. I was worried about you. There's nowhere for me to run, anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still... Bastard! I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. For you, Hiko, does this mean? Hmm. Well, it's all good. If the trial heats up, it's all good. Anyway... It looks like everyone's here, so let us depart now. See ya later! I'll go first, and be, and be one step ahead of you guys. This is bad. Crap. I'm not mentally mentally prepared yet. Like, do we even have to prepare? Show some spirit! If you don't have enough power, harness your latent energy! Come on, bring out that energy! This, too, must be the will of causality. So it begins. The beginning of the end. <laughs> now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. That's right, I can only... Moving forward is the only option. 
No matter how many times I see it, it's such a bad taste. The worst, the lowest, the most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles, stood from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short, and I was eventually struck by a similar... feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock... A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Okay, because I said the elevator, instead of the bit uh, just after the elevator, I have to choose now, don't I? Let's go over the evidence. Death was at 3pm. Uh, single blow, no other injuries, uh, no drugs or anything, blood stain on the floor has streaks leading to the roadside door as if Mihiru had crawled through it, which is interesting because she couldn't have because she died in a single blow. Roads, hang on. Yeah, so the body was moved. Why is that significant? So that's fine. I know who Yoko was there. So the bat exists um, because of the game. Yeah, fine. That is interesting. We were also given a clue about that by um, Makoto. Because he said, oh, people... They only drink one brand, don't they? They only have the one brand? Um, and whose brand is this? Uh, you know what? That probably says that um, Mihiro and Hyoko met up here often. That is somebody pretending to be... The murderer wore that because they knew it would paint point to a serial killer it definitely isn't no one's a serial killer um that's just hiyoko fine that would put that would probably be the first piece of evidence right they'll they'll point to hiyoko there's a bunch of stuff pointing to hiyoko this is important why is this important it means that the killer was covered in blood and couldn't shower this is why I thought it was Peko Pekiyama. Because what's going to happen is they'll point at the princess, they'll say, you invented a serial killer. Look, you you were wearing a full wetsuit. Isn't that weird? That's because you put it on on top of your clothes. And they'll say... But the alternative answer is... Pekka Pekayama overheard about the serial killer, could have then easily read the book. <gasps> no, she couldn't read the book because it was in a foreign language. The princess is the only person who can read the book. So it has to be Pekka Pekayama. Because she's the only... Because the princess is clearly a false lead at this point. They're being too obvious about she's the only one. So what they're going to say is they couldn't wash the blood off, so she went into the sea. You're also not allowed to change your clothes in here. What's the significance of that? Um, iron barred windows. That is important as well, and I don't know why yet. Hmm. That says... It can't be accessed in, unless... You know what? That's just going to be... At the start, because it's going to say Hyoko. Hyoko ran away crying. Hyoko saw the murder? How did everyone else. 
How did the murderer get out? The murderer would have had to have taken this route out because there's no footprints. But how? A second person would have had to have helped. Hmm. Okay, in Twilight Syndrome, you know I never quite got this. Uh, in Twilight Syndrome murder case, a tipped over fish tank was found in the music room where the first victim's body was discovered. Gravel and water were scattered everywhere. So what they're going to make us do is they're going to make us solve that case as well. In the video syndrome, in the, in the game, there's a broken window in the music room where the first body where the first victim's body was discovered. Normally you can't leave the music hall room without passing through the entrance hall. Oh, so... What that's... What... So we already know it was one of the girls, right? Who did a murder. So I have to assume... I don't know what's up with the broken fish gland tank. I have to assume that they didn't escape through the window. It was one of the girls, so they smashed the window. How did they? How did they get back in? How did they lock the door? Or did they go? There's also a stolen swimsuit. I don't. I, I genuinely don't get any of this stuff. Hmm. Once you do, you should remember what you did to my sister. We'll talk then. So this is all pointing at, at, at the dude, right? Those are the two other suspects. Ibuki and Mikan. God, this is going to be hard. Because nothing's pointed at Buki at all. Hmm. One of the ending prizes, a photo of a broken vase, girl D showed girl E this... Uh, this photo in Twilight Syndrome murder case. The vase was broken in the classroom next to the music room. This was... This clinched it for... And this was... This is Fuyuhiko's sister. So she was killed with the vase, right? And then she was killed by Fuyuhiko. Hang on. Why would you kill Ma Mahiru then? I'd like this. I This is the one thing I don't get. Why would you kill? It's clearly not. Gummy bag pointing at a uh, little girl. Let on Mahiru pointing at a little girl. Mikan's auto up so we report. This is interesting as well. It means she didn't fall on the door. She was dragged to the door. And then they escaped another way. And that's important. Maybe it's just that Hiyoko couldn't have done that without getting blood on her shoes. Whoever killed her got blood on them. That's the important thing. She was back of the head, then dragged to the door. So they had blood on them. I think that's what it's all about. They had to have left by the window with an, somebody helping them. Hmm... There's just no evidence pointing at Buki. Apart from the fact that she's a musician and she was there. Mikan was there. I, 
can't see. I don't see a reason. Oh, oh, okay. One more thing I was going to mention. I completely forgot, right? I said mistakenly, oh, that, um, Teru Teru, his motive wasn't in the motivation. But that's not true. It just wasn't du the direct motivation. The motivation the guy said was, you get a year's memory back. And his was the motivation, the thing he learned during that speech. So it wasn't the motivation that was given, but it was a part of the motivation. So, this sort of justifies me saying it's not any of those five people. Because that, it's somebody else who learnt something. But what? Maybe she just took a photo of the wrong thing. I'm going to go... I think it might be a crazy idea, but I am pointing a finger at Peko Peko Yama. Who was somebody I picked to survive the entire thing. Peko Peko Yama. I'll say it at the start of the next episode as well. Uh, as it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. As if my heart was rotten, a rotten fruit, fruit, a fruit, fruit, a swelling in the sun before it goes, finally goes squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. My consciousness began to fade from pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. After a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. Also, Pekka Pekka Yama got there last. And then it stopped altogether. <gasps> it couldn't have been Mikan. It couldn't have been Ibuki. Because they were fully dressed. They hadn't got changed. They were wearing the bikini underneath. So they couldn't have changed their clothes. Definitely isn't those two. It had to have been somebody who, got cha who changed their clothes. So it's either the princess or Pekka Pekka Yama. And I'm chosen Pekka Pekka Yama. Aim! Defeat them! Aim! Defeat the boring routine! So... I've decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. That is... To go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate. Really, what is your true intention? Why is there an iPad up there? No, no! Nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. Yeah. Kill time? Yeah. To break away from my purpose? That alone is my purpose. Like... A purpose is only gonna be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about the such cheap ass purposes like trying to survive. And enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts. It's starting. The class trial is starting. Hang on. I know we've seen it before, but... Mahiru Kuzomi. The ultimate photographer. There goes Mahiru. She had an unyielding force of personality. And she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. That person that killed her. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang, hang, hang. Is among us. Alright. One last thing. So, where my cursor's pointing. If we lose two people per case, there isn't enough people for case six. And to have five survivors. So, what if one of the killers isn't among us? Right? It keeps talking about, oh, it's not one of us. That's going to be one of the cases, not one of us. Okay. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. Oh crap, I lost the cursor. Never mind. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Where's my cursor? Oh no, no, I do have a cursor. 
I'm on to you, Peke Peke Yama. I will be the only glasses wearer. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. I would like to say, I'm going to let you guys go. I've been John Fox on channel John West. I've been having a dang gun romper too. Goodbye, despair adventure, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.